Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already Okay, we're going to be doing some beef and bean sprouts today in the wok It's really simple As you can see I've got my wok here I've got it on a high heat, that oil's getting nice and hot The first thing I'm going to do is drop in some fresh garlic and ginger I just want this garlic and ginger just to sort of infuse this oil by the way I'm just using the sunflower oil you could use a corn oil anything you like really as you can see it's just turning its color to a nice brown then I've got here my beef I've got some lovely beef strips nice and thin and they're all gonna go in Cut your beef nice and thin, it will cook a lot, a lot quicker. We do want this to be tender. This is a nice cut of beef. Now just stir frying, don't take your eye off this. Do this for about three to four minutes. Then we'll add some more ingredients. It's really important that we get our beef cooked nicely. I'll be back then. There you go, that was just a few minutes. You can see it's browning nicely. Now I'm going to add some sliced onions. And simply keep stirring this around. Keep it on a very high heat all the time. I'll be back in two minutes. There you go, those onions have really, as you can see, cooked down. Still nice and crispy though, they have a nice little crunch to them, which is what we want. Now simply we're going to go in with our bean sprouts. And stir fry these over. There's two ways that people usually cook their bean sprouts. One is like this, this is kind of done now. They just sort of toss them in at the end and do that. Or you can cook them a little bit longer and kind of they cook down and get a little bit soggy. Either way is delicious. I think I'll go for the little soggy way today. Let's cook them a little bit. Just gonna throw in now. Get some sliced yellow and green sweet pepper, just for a little bit of colour really. And then a little splash of soy. I'm using a dark colour. Turn this over. And of course if you're using soy sauce there's absolutely no need at all to use salt. But black pepper, why not? Okay, heat goes off, this dish is done. In addition, you could add some red chili or some spring onions, but for me, this is a beautiful, beautiful little dish just like that. See you next time.